Yeah, are you guys, am I the only one that's getting this feeling that like Flat Earth is really on the tip, at the tipping point? Like, I know people have been saying that for a long yes. time, but I think it no. really is. Yeah, like TikTok it's is exploding. TikTok is really, TikTok's exploding. Dude, TikTok. I mean, I'm seeing on. a lot of TikTok videos on YouTube now. Mm -hmm. I do that Flat Earth daily thing, and there's so, and now with all these new people, there's a lot more of their friends putting out you know, well, debunking videos. Here's so what we need to remember next time died. a new site comes out is that remember when YouTube came and then we started doing flat earth there that it took off because the way the algorithms work within these platforms is to try and get people to see more of what they like seeing, right? That's how their, their business model. Now YouTube did away with that as far as conspiracies go. Like my channel is not going to show up in somebody else's just because they're into conspiracies because I'm shadow banned, but TikTok hasn't done that yet. So when somebody sees something they like about Flat Earth and they start following a Flat Earther here or there, then they're just getting fed all the Flat Earth info. Yeah, and then you have all three foot of Joe Rogan talking about how bad TikTok is. And I'm like, because of China, right? I'm like, yeah, ironically, China is letting us be more free with facilitation of information than the U.S. is. So how about you just sit on your little high chair and keep your opinion to yourself? Well, I think we should it's use a TikTok. booster booster chair, not a high chair. Okay, yeah, <laughs> but and it's so there's something else, right? I, I what I'm saying is I think a lot of these conservative-minded people are slowly starting to have to pay attention to flat Earth because they find out a bunch of the people that align with a lot of the stuff they're seeing through the last two years and stuff are flat Earthers. Uh, a good example is someone named Peggy Hall. I don't know if you guys have heard of yeah. her, but she's mm -hmm. she was crushing with the whole like pandemic nonsense getting everyone out of their like job situations and, and helping them out. And uh, she's been doing videos just like exposing NASA recently. She finally just straight up talked about how the earth is a plane and showed her the flat earth map and said, this is obvious. If, for those that know, this is much more accurate than uh, globe is of where we live. So we have like bigger people that are like respected quote unquote, that are starting to go towards the NASA lies and the earth is not what we were been, we've been told thing. So I feel like we're literally on that tipping point where in the next like year or so, I would agree. It, something may change. Yeah. So many people that you didn't used to think would be involved. Like um, uh, you guys know who uh, I can't remember her first name now is it Hannah Mayer. Um, she has a podcast on Rockfin. Uh, I can't remember her name. Anyway, she just did a show with Owen Benjamin the other day and I was listening to it and they get into flat earth and Owen handles himself great when it comes to that by just saying there's no way we're on a spinning ball. And it certainly it's a plane and she's forced to say that she agrees, not forced, but I mean, she's put in a position where it, it doesn't work anymore to defend the globe. There's too many truthers that have seen through the lie so to be a truther who still avoids this is uh, getting to be, uh, it's kind of showing your true colors. Dude, and even from like a tactical perspective, because you know, a lot of people, they self-censor because they want uh, viewer retention. Like we're talking about how Alex Jones said he'd isolate half his crowd, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But it's starting to flip over where now you're actually not going to be considered a credible source of truth if you keep denying flatter. Like it's, it's going to flip over so some people are starting to realize, like, my chats are flooded with flat earthers. So maybe I can just bite the bullet and actually start to talk about it and look into it, honestly. And so I, I think we're just in this crazy period that's, like, kind of tipping back and forth and it's about to flip over. But who knows? How about the channel Archaics? Have you guys looked at him at all? Yeah. Nope. No, There's... I've seen people mention him, though. Yeah, you should check it out because he's, uh, he's – well, he's somebody who puts dates on the line, which I like. He, he – is somebody who went to prison. I don't really know the whole story, but he went to prison and in prison became in charge of the library. So he just for like 27 years read books nonstop and um, has all these connections. He's pulling connections together and actually saying that every 120 years, there's a reset and every 400 and something years. So and it's always in May, May 15th. It's funny because when I go back and look at my notes, there's whenever these Christians predict the end of the world, they're usually predicting it in May for some reason. And so it's funny that he says it's in May and that it goes um, like clockwork and that the elite know this. The next one is supposedly 2040, um, I think. 
So anyway, he's great, but he still talks about the globe and things like that. And I bet you it's just a matter of time because his channel's really blowing up that he sees through that too. Because I bet you if somebody gets in there and talks to him about it, I don't know if he's even heard about it yet, but maybe with all his reading, a lot of things will start to click. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of negative information on him too, but I suspect a lot of it's coming from the trolls. But uh, yeah, I, I, you know, he's, he definitely has published some very interesting information. Um, so again, like anything else, you know, take what works, leave the rest behind, right? But <laughs> Karen, check him out. Karen says, I don't like people who put dates on stuff. Well, neither do I, except for he hasn't picked a date yet that hasn't come true. So <laughs> uh, he was on with Mr. Asher. The was he? Okay, so he was on with uh, Santos Bonacci. So see, this is what happens when you get in this community, you're you're cornered because Santos Bonacci's there. Um, so he'll talk to enough people that uh, he's going to have to look into Flat Earth. And when somebody looks into it, guess what happens? Exactly. Yeah. Like the number one thing for us to do is to just keep on elevating our content and like doing what we're doing and not get discouraged because the other platforms are going to start to get pressure from all the people that they respect right and it's gonna it's gonna just take over and you're gonna you're gonna end up being super lame to cling on to the globe like it, it already is that way for those that know the argument but it's gonna get to where everyone knows their argument and so finally that day will come where these anti-flat earthers will have their illusory confidence and acceptance obliterated and uh you're just gonna be super lame it's going to get to where it's not even something to talk about too much. It's just going to be really weird and lame that you can't let go of like helios. Like that, that's what I think. I think that'll happen like in the near future. <laughs>